The best way to study the diaphragm is by looking at it from below. This is a view from the abdominal side of the diaphragm. And as we have said that the diaphragm is a muscular partition separating the thorax from the abdomen. So here is the abdomen and above the diaphragm is the thorax. The diaphragm is a muscular organ having two domes, a right dome and a left dome and a central tendon. It originates from the foid process anteriorly and the lower lips and the upper lumbar vertebrae posteriorly. The domes of the diaphragm can reach as far as the fifth intercostal space with the right dome much higher than the left because of the presence of the liver on the right side. The diaphragm is pierced by three main structures and those structures making three openings. The first opening is the vena cava opening for the inferior vena cava at the level of the eighth thoracic vertebra. Here is it. The second opening is for the esophagus. Here is the esophagus and this is the stomach. And this opening lies at the level of the tenth thoracic vertebra. The third opening is for the, uh, for the aorta, the descending aorta. And the aortic opening lies at the level of T12. The diaphragm has two crurri, a right cross, and a left cross. The right cross of the diaphragm originate from the upper three lumbar vertebrae, while the left originate from the upper two lumbar vertebrae. Between those two cross is the median arcuate ligament that lies in front of the aorta. The right cross extends up to stay around the esophageal opening, making a valve around the esophagus. The inferior vena cava is accompanied by the right phrenic nerve, whereas the esophagus is accompanied by the two vagi, and the aorta is accompanied by the azygous vein and the thoracic duct. 